taped and mudded out. The corners have been done. We did the areas around the door with corner bead, which is really, you know, just this stuff that's going on here. And done around. And we did the same thing with the windows. Rather than having casing around the windows, we put a corner bead on here and mudded so that we don't have any casing that goes around the windows. And we're going to texture all the way right on to the uh, edging of this. In fact, if you want, you could, you could put a uh, piece of wood or something down there, a ledge. Uh, we haven't, but a lot of people do. And we've taped off this, otherwise you'd be chasing scraping off your stomping that you're going to do with your texture later on trust me you don't want to be doing that so we've got all the corners done and uh, we've gone ahead and put some duct tape over the outlets <clears throat> so we don't get the texture into the outlets and we've got some mud in a bucket here. We're going to mix this and stir it up here. We're using one of these drywall paddles here. If you don't have one of these and you're doing any drywall work at all, they're indispensable. And we'll be stirring this up with a little bit of water to try to get it to the texture that we want. And these are our stomping brushes here. And we'll be using these to lay the texture on with. And you'll see that in a little bit here. Just add some water to this puppy here. Okay. And we'll get the big paddle out here and stir this thing. You really, you really have to have one of these paddles because it's about the only way you can mix this stuff. You know, they like to break off, so I might want to thin this just a tad more, so I don't get as much peak as what I got here. Okay, you can do it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's come out just a little bit less of a peak on it. After thinning it down a tad, and I kind of like this. So I think we're going to go with this particular texture. This is all it is. And there's just no pattern to it. Now for around the windows and stuff, we use a paintbrush. And for the paint paintbrush, you just dip the end in, so you get it on the end only. And that works. You just stab it where it's hard to get to, like corners. So when you get into corners, like in here, great for it. You load up the edges of your brush you can really get these edges pretty well. With okay, we got this room done now. Um, you know, for reference purposes, this room is 12 by 13. And that one little box of, of mud that you saw that we started with uh, easily covered this room. So that's how much it took to, to do this one room. And, then, and the walls come out fairly decent. I don't think I'm happy with the texture that got around it. But the room is uh, ready to get ready to get primed now. We got the got the walls done and everything else we're gonna have to prime uh, everything done around the window and you know we'll go ahead and you know, prime this up and then and paint it and then uh, 